Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we're tasting some more treats from around the world that you guys have been sending me. Not done one of these for a while. Uh, there's a huge playlist full of others, so uh, grab the popcorn, have a barathon if you want to see some more. Today's package comes from Marissa, Richard and Vincent Fugate, uh, which I think is to clean, no that's Fumigate, uh, but they have sent me this. Uh, Barry, sorry this is two years late, the food expired last time before we could send it. We went back to New Mexico and got lots of things. Uh, basically the letter goes on from there, a little bit more about how a few of these things um, are for my kids and they want to take me one to Barshans, so I'll do that as well for Stuart. I think it's probably going to be the grow your own zombie thing, so uh can't eat that. They bought these things from New Mexico. We understand these may be available in other places, but we bought them there. Um, I love how you guys are chucking these disclaimers in now, because some people go, oh, I can get this in Sweden or whatever. It's like, okay, that's cool. So these were sourced from New Mexico and the sun wants to keep going in and out today. So the light might change a bit, right? When I first got this box, I was like, yes, this is cool from Mexico, but it's not actual the country Mexico. This is just the state uh, New Mexico near Arizona and all that stuff. But I'm looking at it. There's some pretty cool stuff. I don't think I've been asked to review this. This is a marshmallow kebab. Uh, quite sinister looking bunny things on there. It's a cloudy day. That weather's gonna be going in and out during this video. Uh, these are fairy sprinkles. Like sort of neon colored rocks. Tap it on a treat to make it extra sweet. Apparently uh, these are for my kids, so their teeth are gonna love that. I won't be looking at those. If you've had them though, I'd be intrigued to know what you think of them. The sun is just so weird today. There's also just loads of other random bits, okay? Um, there's some uh, New Mexico coffee, but I've actually tried that uh, before, uh, and it's really, really creamy, so I don't need to do that. I'm gonna put it out there. I don't think there's gonna be an R. Kelly moment in this video. It looks kind of dangerous, so we'll get it out of the way now. My mind's telling me no. My mind is telling me no today. <laughs> the reason why is everything I'm looking at, look, it's hot, it's lumpy, it's, it's weird. Well, we're just gonna do this. Also, thank you to everyone that sent me packages. I've got loads still upstairs. I am working my way through, I promise. First up, um, I've actually got this, um, but I've never cooked it before. Um, I think my sister brought it back from America for me. Uh, ass kicking habanero popcorn, nice. This side up. Remove plastic, overwrap, unfold bag, place one bag, direction side up in the center of the microwave oven. Do not open, puncture or tear bag. Pop in will occur after two to five minutes. And now we wait. Part of me feels like I might need a glass of water to one side during this video. Oh, I just heard a pop. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's just started popping. <coughs> that is so strange. I can smell the buttery scent of the popcorn in the air, but also I'm coughing by, I don't know if it's emitting habanero or something, but I am actually generally like choking up already. <coughs> There it is again. <coughs> wow. <coughs> oh my gosh. My smoke alarm might go off in a minute. <coughs> oh dear Lord. Well, it looks like normal popcorn. The dogs have just suddenly got excited. They can smell it. Huh? What can you smell, boy? It looks like normal popcorn, but it's yellow. It's gonna let my habanero cool down a little bit. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's hot. Oh. It's like eating one of Satan's toes. Oh, oh. <laughs> it must be the yellow coating on it. Wow. <clears throat> it's very nice. I've got another one of those. I'm totally taking that to the next bash and shoot. <coughs> wow. I'm dying. Fruit butt. <coughs> Sounded like my granddad then. Fruit bar. Fruit bar with chili. Combo of sweet and spicy. And here it is. Fruit bar with chili. Uh, barra de fruta enchilada. Sounds like someone, how they would call me in New Mexico, you know, if they were Mexican, maybe. Barra de fruta enchilada. They just call me Barry, it's easier. Uh, it looks like a dog treat. Hmm? Dog treat. Ingredients, hawthorn. What's hawthorn? That's the first ingredient. Quince, guava, sugar, salt, chili, pepper, citric acid. Okay. It doesn't smell too bad. It's, it's ha that 
that red stuff on the top, it looks like some sort of powder, like it's just been like, I know, let's just drench like chilli powder all over it. I feel it might, it might be quite soft. Oh, it tastes like a deranged strawberry. Oh, that's not nice at all. It tastes like the sort of thing you'd want to give someone as an alternative to a prison sentence. It's just like, oh, it just feels like a chore eating it. It's all grainy. It tastes a little bit fizzy, bicarbonate of soda, and then there's this like heat running through it and just a terrible sort of strawberry vibe. We need to wash that down with something. <clears throat> Not water, we need something stronger. We've got some kinky vodka here. <laughs> one is pink, one is blue. Take the blue pill or the pink pill. Uh, a naughty fusion of super premium vodka distilled five times with succulent mango, blood orange, and passion fruit. This one's tropical and berry, but I like the idea of that one. I like the passion fruit, I like that. I'm not gonna take it straight, it says to mix it with lemonade anyway. The heck is going on with the light outside today? It's like the eclipse or something. Oh, crikey, <laughs> that smells strong. Cheers. Ah, that's better. Ooh, that was really, really nice to be fair. That felt like I was sat on a beach in New Mexico. Are there beaches in New Mexico? Maybe not. Enjoying the less Heat in my mouth for a moment. <coughs> oh my gosh, that popcorn's coming back. Oh. <laughs> my nose is running from the heat. <sighs> this next one, the sun has gone in for a minute. Uh, this is called whoop, the big hunk. Oh yes, but look, it's not had the bestest of uh, journeys over to England for me. Uh, apparently it's a honey sweetened nougat with whole roasted peanuts. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of nougat. I like it in certain areas if it's like drenched in chocolate. Uh, this will rip your fillings out apparently, but you love the taste. It seems pretty welded to it. Oh my god. There it is. <laughs> Look at that. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm quite tired. Mmm. <laughs> it's just um, a droopy <laughs> nutty bar. I think because it's so warm in this kitchen today, probably from the heat that I'm giving off, um, it's making it a little bit more flexible. Maybe it's supposed to be stiffer than that. But to be honest, from all of that heat stuff, that is a really nice break from it. Ah, turned on the sun. <laughs> ah. um, I just had another little bite and the roasted hazelnut in it. I got a whole one of those. That was, that was good. I can imagine dunking this in chocolate and I might do that later. This next thing has got a dancing peanut on it that's doing a workout. It's the peanut patty. This sounds intriguing. Oh God, it looks like some sort of sample. Ugh. Doesn't smell of anything. Sun come out. Yes. <laughs> I bet this is going to be rock hard. It looks like it should be in a hospital, but... It's like a sort of bar of soap. That is weird. The sugar's turned into like a, a weird syrup in my mouth and you get the crunch of the nuts as well. There's a bit of flavour there, but texture and visually, is a little bit off-putting. Just feels like I'm eating a rash. My <coughs> popcorn is still getting me. I need might compose yourself. Might need to have another vodka in a minute. Doritos Munchies Nacho Cheese. What do you call cheese? It's not yours. Nacho Cheese uh, flavored sandwich crackers. I absolutely hate these, but as you know, I always what you send me is only fair because it's so kind of you that I must try it. Sun come out, come out. Wow, really come out. Oh, good God. Yeah, it's just something about crackers like that that just to me are just so unappealing in every sense. Sun go in. Sun go in. <laughs> Why do I hate the smell of cheese? Just ugh. If it's melted, I'll love it. Some cheeses, parmesan, feta, I can do, but this is tangy. Sun come out. Oh my gosh. That is awful. <laughs> That's so strong. I would imagine cheese lovers would absolutely love that. <clears throat> Whenever I moan about foods, people are always like, oh, you hate so many foods and you call yourself a cook. I'm like, no, there's just very specific things I don't like in cheese in that form. I just can't do it. And even without that cheese in it, those crackers, they just make me feel like weird. You know, like nails down a blackboard, like bleh, bleh. Next up is hot tamales, which sounds like a nightclub in New Mexico. Hey, you're going to hot tamales tonight? <laughs> Tropical heat. I'm sure that was a film with Hulk Hogan, wasn't it? No, that was Thunder in Paradise. And that wasn't Hulk Hogan, was it? 
There's no description. Chewy, spicy, tropical flavoured candies. With the evil looking for like meteor just flying past. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. They're like the size that jelly beans should be. We've got an orange one, a yellow one and a green one. We're going to take that, all right? Thinking the pineapple one might be all right? Oh, that's nice. Sweetness straight away. Ooh, these are amazing. Yeah, no heat at all in that. I was kind of expecting it might be that cheeky sweetness and then boom. Or maybe it's just the popcorn still doing its <coughs> thing. Lime. Mmm. Ooh, quite That had a bit of heat then for a minute. It was like woof and it's gone. Kind of like this guy. Woof. That's the sound it makes. Woof. Like a dog. Woof. It's all right. Uh, now, finally, I think this is the mango one. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's like biting into a ripe mango. Mmm. That's really cool. What I absolutely love, though, is there was no heat at all in that whatsoever. Gorgeous. So, uh, while we're on a roll with the spicy stuff, let's just give this a go in the hope that it won't be spicy either. Uh, dip and lick sweet fire sriracha. Amazing. With lollipop. So it's a strawberry flavoured popping candy lolly thing. Oh, we have something similar here called a dip dap. I did it on the British Treats, one of the first videos I ever did on this playlist. Um, but this looks like it's popping candy with shiracha in it. It's going to have a bit of kick, whereas ours, the UK one, is, is nice and mild. We're nice like that. It's broken. <laughs> I think I got sent another one. Hang on. Oh, yeah, this one's intact. Now, strawberry, just. You know, it kind of feels like a fake strawberry. Then we use the wetness from licking the lolly. Ooh, <coughs> a bit of heat there actually, a little bit. We've got loads of like candy bits, the popping candy. That should grip to it. There we go. It's on the lolly now. Pop in. Wow, that's really popping. But that's nice. Ooh, it's still going in the back of my throat right now. I feel like my mouth is now a popcorn machine. A, li a little bit of heat there, but that's, again, really, really nice. Not an R. Kelly moment, but satisfying. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Leslie's Green Chili Brittle. Delicious green chili and peanuts. Look at the state of that. Looks like the tiles in my bathroom. Oh, yeah. It is brittle, all right. So, I assume there is, look, there's a good look at the colour of it. <laughs> Looks like a weird mushy pea protest, doesn't it, on a slab. So, I don't know if it'll be hot, but... Tastes like I'm eating a beach. It was sandy and gritty. I've never done that, just for reference, okay? I feel like I'm trying to have to find myself right now. Well, there was no heat. It was just like eating a nutty beach. That's all I'm going to say. Just a bit like a task. It's a bit like that patty one, but like green rather than red. It's just a lot of sugar. Ah, I just closed. <laughs> I just closed the drawer on my nipple. Even my teats are unhappy. I said teats. Okay. Not that I feed babies from them, but you, you know what I mean. We've got three things left. Uh, one I'm really keen to try. Second I'm intrigued about. It looks hot. The other one, it's always freaked me out. Let's do it. We'll start with the intrigued one. This is Twanger's <laughs> Sabre a Chili Limon Snack Topping. Twanger's snack topping, chili, lime, salt. Sprinkle on fruit, veggies, chips, popcorn, etc. We've got popcorn. People sprinkle this on everything from fruit to Bloody Mary's. My husband even puts it on spaghetti. It's like a seasoning then. There's a safety lid on it. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just basically a seasoning. I nearly snorted that then. All right, not much yellow on these, so hopefully quite normal. Sprinkle the topping on. It looks like a really angry salt. Supposed to have the kick of chilli, lime and salt, so... Ooh, wow, ooh! Ooh, crikey! <clears throat> yeah, that'll put hair on your chest. I was like, oh, <coughs> it's hot! Ooh! But then the, 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 the saltiness just rides through it, and then the lime, very, very hint of that. The chilli is the priority in there. You know, I, I see where we're going with this. But then you have it like that, direct. You get the lime much more. I think it depends what you top it on, but I'm really intrigued to try that on chicken and I'll probably do that soon. No, but that one I got chilli. Oh my gosh. And now saltiness. It's like that sweet in the Charlie and Chocolate Factory film where it's like a free course dinner. I'm getting the lime hit once, then the salt. Chilli and lime then. Ugh. Ooh. 
There's something nice about it though. I know I'm not really selling it right now, but there's something nice about it. <coughs> this is the Skinny Cow Heavenly Crisp Delectable Delicious Milk Chocolatey Candy Bar. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Hopefully it will be a nice mouthful. I like them smooth chocolate taste against the crispy wafer. Oh God, this has seen better days. Look at that. Oh, got a little bit damaged in transportation. Oh yeah. Well, that's good. That's really creamy. And the crunch of the wafer, there's chocolate in between all the layers. I feel like it's countering the chili in my nose. It was making it want to run. It's kind of like bunging it up with chocolatiness. I love that. This last one, I need to just do a little research about, okay? It's an apple flavor lolly with a worm inside. Yes, you can see we've got another one there. That one was kind of like doing more of a, ooh, and the other one's like doing a bit of, ooh, doing an arch and an angle. They're doing like YMCA, okay? I just want to find out if I'm supposed to eat the worm or not. Right, this is made by someone called Hot Licks, and apparently they've been around for 25 years. They're the original insect candy maker people. These apple flavored lollipops contain a real worm that has been suspended within the flavored confines of the sucker. Sounds like a movie trailer. You don't have to eat the insect larva, but that would just defeat the purpose of having a bug in your lollipop now, wouldn't it? So I have to eat the bug? I have to eat, oh my God. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. The problem I'm getting is, I'm gonna try this other bar. Well, this is welded. No one's trying so hard to get this wrapper off. I should just be like, no, I can't get it off, and that'll be that. Uh, I think I've got most of it off, I can't tell. I think I'm just gonna have to suck on it, and then, uh, it's a very hard, sugary lolly. Oh, I'm getting closer to the worm thing. <laughs> I'm licking right on that end where it is, like, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I just touched like one of the, the side of it with my tongue. Oh, that's such a weird sensation. You're having like a sweet, like sweet, and then you touch this like velvety thing. I might just try and take a chunk off of it. Ugh. Right, that's the majority of the worm in there. Oh. Oh, the texture. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it, guys. The sweetness is definitely masking it now. It was just. The, the taste, that sort of, there's a fly in my soup kind of vibe, you know where I'm going? There's a worm in my sweet. Let's swallow it. Oh. <laughs> oh, and the sun came out for us. I can honestly say that is one of the most scared things out of the whole time I've done this channel that I've ever tasted. <laughs> Well, thank you, Marissa, <coughs> Richard, and Vincent for sending me <laughs> this interesting box of treats to try. Um, I feel like it's only fair that I have a little bit of this. Tastes like sugary cotton wool. So, there we go, folks. Uh, apologies about the light. It's very cloudy, sunny, then very dark day today, but we got through it. Um, the real winner was New Mexican sweets and the heat in that popcorn. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you'd like to send me a treat, get in touch via the myvirginkitchen.com contact form. Remember to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. And I'll see you again <coughs> next time.